Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here and this week we've got some more new products. Today from KE Arms, we have the CDR, the Civil Defense Rifle. Uh, this is a collaboration between KE Arms who makes this rifle, uh, Forgotten Weapons and In Range. And it essentially carries on the What Would Sonar Do concept to a more affordable rifle. Now the What Would Sonar Do rifles, they're still coming, they're gonna ship, uh, but they're working on the carbon fiber tubes that's proving hard to source and manufacture. So in the meantime, uh, they, they being KE Arms, came up with this configuration. So same philosophy, it's got the lightweight KP15 lower receiver, the completely polymer lower receiver, which makes it super lightweight and strong, robust. There's some torture tests out there. Go check them out on YouTube. Pretty cool to watch. I believe Recoil TV put those on. Uh, but inside of this, they've got the KE Arms DMR trigger, which is a nice trigger as far as uh, Christmas and reset goes. So you can see right here, it's a nice single stage, nice clean break. And then the reset is super short. There you go, right there. And then the safety selector, ambidextrous. So from either side, uh, nice and easy to operate. Upper receiver, same as the, uh, what would Stoner do? They shaved off the forward assist. Uh, don't need that, it's another failure point. Uh, and then up top, they've got a more traditional charging handle. So the Wolves Stoner do has ambi controls on the charging handle. This is a more traditional single uh, sided charging handle. Inside, you've got a nitride bulk carrier group. On the Wolves Stoner do, you have a chrome young manufacturing bulk carrier group. So the main difference on this is the handguard. So the Wolves Stoner do has that carbon fiber. Uh, configuration, which is hard to manufacture, procure, and it's expensive. Uh, this right here is aluminum, so it's lightweight. They've got M-Lock all the way around, and then they've got Picatinny, uh, of course, mat matching up nicely with the upper all the way out the front. Uh, then as far as the barrel itself, you can see in there through that uh, well hogged out handguard, they've got a Faxon pencil weight, one and eight twist, nitride barrel, 5.56, a really nice barrel. Uh, and then capped off, they've got an A2 flash hider. So that right there is the CDR, the Civil Defense Rifle from KE Arms. And then new from Brownells, we have the Wrenchman Lightweight Handguard. So right now we've got the 10 inch right here, and I believe this is the 14 inch. Uh, these handguards are done for Brownells by Midwest Industries. They're very similar to their SLH. Uh, and essentially it's a lightweight handguard that's easy to install. We went to Midwest and said, hey, what do you got? What can you do that is the simplest installation to install, yet still extremely robust like the other Wrenchman handguards? Uh, so they came up with this right here. So aluminum handguard, free float, of course. They've got M-lock all the way around. You've got QD sockets at the rear on these. And then they, of course, M-lock all over the place. And they're tiny, so you can see the diameter on that. Uh, super clean, uh, and you know it's gotta feel good when you go to shoot that. The barrel nut itself, it comes uh, in there. You loosen these two screws, pull it out, install on your upper. It does include this handy uh, wrench right here. Works with a half inch torque driver. Uh, install that and you're good to go. The bolts right here interface with this lock piece, which solidly locks into the barrel nut. So then it's impossible for this handguard uh, to move around, shift forward while you're shooting. Also has anti-rotation tabs. So in addition to not moving forward, there's no way for this handguard uh, to get out of alignment during long shooting or abuse. So that's the 10 inch right there. You got the 14, the 12 is coming, but these are available now at brownells.com. The new Wrenchman lightweight handguards. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.